Hello, today we're going to talk about the mail merge feature of Word. Specifically, we're going to talk about how to create mailing labels, which I view as one of the more strange mail merges that you could do. If you're looking for a good starting point, then you should watch my previous video on mail merge. But I'm going to talk about labels today. I'm going to try to keep this one a little bit short. So it's a compliment to my last video. So as I said, I'm going to be creating mailing labels. So I'm going to head over to the mailing tab and head to start mail merge. And I want to do labels. Right? In my previous one, I did letters. Head over to labels. Now this is immediately kind of strange. So you need to understand mailing labels come on pre-printed stickers. And every question I've ever seen, I don't know much about mailing labels, honestly. And by default, you're on Microsoft. You just are because Microsoft made this product. But Everything I've ever seen asks you to do Avery US letter, so you're selecting the vendor, and then there's a whole bunch of choices in here, a lot of them. That's a big scroll bar. And the one that everyone always uses, I don't know why, sorry, is 5160. If you just put your cursor in this section and type in 5160, and you'll find 5160 Easy Peel address labels. Now, I'm not a representative of Avery, I don't care what you print your labels on, but that's the one that I see used more often than anything else. So I select the vendor, I select the type, I click OK, and this is a pretty strange surprise. If you don't have non-printing characters on, nothing happens at all. This is a compelling reason to use non-printing characters. So I was on the mailing tab and I selected my brand of label. The next part, probably the most important, I say where are those addresses going to come from? I'm going to use an existing list. And of course, annoying, I have to go select it. It always goes to that default folder, which is never where I want to be. So, Wiley, Word, and I'm looking for, I've got two choices. I'm going to use this. Notice this is an access database right here. You do not need to open it. You probably don't have access. Irrelevant. Word knows what to do with this. I click open. I don't know what's in there, but it's in there. Notice I got all these weird little next record things. That's pretty hard to look at, but it's there. So I started my merge, selected my recipients. Edit recipients is where I'm going to determine whether I want everyone to get these or not. So notice this blank record which is in here. I'm going to uncheck that because I don't need to print out a blank one. Now if you want to do something like sort it by last name or sort it by first name, notice I'm clicking on these and sorting them like I would uh, using filters. You've also got some th tools down here. Let's say I want to sort them by last name. Now they're alphabetically sorted by last name. I click OK and nothing. All right, so none of these produced anything. And now, since these are mailing labels, all I want is an address block. Address blocks look like this, right? And that's the kind of thing that you would put on a sticker and put on a letter. I'm just going to click OK, go with defaults. Working my way across, greeting line, not relevant to the task. Notice I've got an address block here now. Uh, merge fields, these would be like specific fields, like first name, last name, not relevant to the task. Now, this is a little bit of magic right here. So how you should think of this is this first cell is a template cell. Anything you do to this cell is going to be applied to the rest of the cells when you click this button. And since it says address block, I click update and now I've got address blocks in all the fields. Now that doesn't do anything, uh, just like any other merge, until you press preview results. And if you press preview results, then you will have mailing labels. Right? Isn't that kind of nice? And so depending on the vendor, this might look a lot different. If you only have one label showing up, then you probably forgot to update the labels, and then you would just have one here. Now, another kind of strange thing is it actually matters what the last thing you clicked on was. Notice I'm looking at number two, which is kind of weird. Like, why am I not starting on the first one? Well, because I decided not to send that guy one. I have just seen people where if you just happen to be looking at the last label, in which case you might think you made, you made a mistake because it's only displaying one. So I always recommend pushing this to go back to the beginning, and then you can see all the labels. Completely reasonable that this might be 10 pages long. This one's half of one page, but that's kind of cool. I got 10 labels, and I didn't have to click a whole lot of stuff. But the tough thing is that nothing really shows up until the last step. Now, at this point, I'm ready to print these out if I had a, a paper which was capable of handling it, or I could go through a finish and merge like I did in my last video, but it's going to be a similar process of just tying them in together for one document. Essentially, that's a mail merge. More specifically, that's a mailing label merge. And so that's kind of a strange one because nothing happens until the end. Uh, I do want to point out that I worked from left to right without any exception. If something was not relevant to the task, I just skipped it because I know what these things do. We did need an address block. A greeting line obviously doesn't belong on a mailing label. Merge fields, 
not part of this process either. So we clicked here, 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 and here. So that's kind of a lot of clicks, uh, especially when you're kind of blind like we are. You don't see anything produced until the very end. But if you work from left to right, uh, things should turn out pretty well for you. If you ever end up trying to edit things, it might not go so well. My best advice on if it doesn't turn out how you like, start from scratch. It's easier than trying to fix it. So those are mailing labels. Thanks for watching.